I just wanted to take a minute and kind of share with you guys on the council some graphs that I made to kind of help people more understand um, my thoughts on the budget and uh, more importantly how we're trending in our spending uh, for the city of West Bend. I am a strong believer in the goal of our budget should be raising only the amount of taxes that we need to fund necessary functions of the government while doing the least amount of damage to the economy and also respecting our taxpayers. Um, so with that, I've prepared this. Um, this is kind of a budget overview of the city of West Bend. Uh, this slide here shows the levy dollar amount represented each year by a blue line. Uh, along the left is the dollar amount and then along the bottom is the year. Um, the black numbers um, to the left of each blue line is going to be the percent increase or decrease of the levy from the year prior to that year. Um, if you look to the far right of the graph, you're going to see 2021 has two lines. Um, so we have a blue line and also a red line. Uh, the blue line on the far right is the proposed budget as written. Um, that is going to require a tax increase on our residents. And the red line is what I'm proposing this year for the budget, which would not require a tax increase on our residents. The red line is really, really good news. It shows West Bend is in a good place. Um, our levy is doing well doing things like new construction. Uh, we're financially in a good spot coming in, and I don't think that we're going to need a tax increase. Um, so again, you can kind of see the 4% versus the 5%. Uh, if we maintain the 7.85, we're going to increase our levy 4% to last year, and that's not requiring a tax increase. So that 1% difference is the difference between raising taxes and not. With that, I know people uh, might want to look at this in terms of dollar amounts instead of just uh, percents. So here's kind of what it looks like in the dollar amounts. So as you can see, the red bar, which is maintaining the 7.85% tax rate, not a tax increase, we are going to grow the levy 4%. Um, that equates an additional $909,662 to our levy to operate the city um, from last year. So what I am proposing is $22.7 million versus $23.1 million. Um, if we look to the right, the far blue line, uh, that is the 7.94, uh, the tax increase. Uh, we're going to get an additional $239,723 more dollars from the tax increase. Uh, that's the small green <coughs> tip of the, of the right chart here. That is the increase that we're getting. Um, versus if we stayed the same, we're growing it still at a $909,000 that we're going to be giving to spend in government versus what the budget is written as, which is an additional $1.1 million. Um, if we look back over the past few years, we can see the dollar increases in the levy. Um, so looking back to 2018, we increased $366,000. Uh, 2019, 625,000, and uh, in 2020, the uh, 371,000 uh, dollars. So the proposed $909,000 increase that does not cause a tax increase to our residents is already two and a half times more than what we've given to the budget in past years, and and more than we've given in the past 10 years of my of my chart. Um, so what I'm asking is that we remove 1%, this little green tip, $239,000, um, so that we can spare our taxpayers an increase during this pandemic. Um, during a year when we're already giving the city more money than we historically have to operate on, um, I feel that the 4% increase or $909,000 in addition that we're already able to put in from the levy from last year, we should be able to make work. Um, I just also wanted to consider a few other uh, a few other factors here. Um, inflation, the inflation rate projected in 2021 is 2.2%. So even with a 4% increase to our budget, we're still outpacing the rate of inflation. Um, if you look at our past three years of levy growth and the tax rate, um, you can see that we have increased 2 to 3%. Uh, with the tax rate remaining flat, down uh, about 72 cents, up 6 cents. Um, but this year, we would be able to provide an additional 4% or $909,000 in keeping the, the rate flat, um, opposed to the budget as written, which is up 5%, uh, $1.1 million, and then the 8 cents increase on taxes. Um, 
Uh, also, looking at the future, um, the real person uh, personal income, so adjusting after inflation, it grew 2.7% in 2019. Um, it's going to increase or did increase 1.7% in 2020, and it is set to decline by 0.3% in 2021. Um, meaning our taxpayers are going to have to do more with less in their own personal budgets. Um, also, West Bend is scheduled to be uh, have a reevaluation year on property coming up in 2022, uh, meaning that probably the values of houses is going to increase between 5 to 10, depending on the percent, um, meaning that not only are we giving a tax increase this year, but we're probably going to value their property at a higher percent next year, and we'll collect more tax money that way as well. Um, I know I touched on this briefly before, um, but just some other factors that I really think are important is that the Wisconsin residents are you know, facing layoffs, furloughs, and closures. Uh, the unemployment rate in September was 5.4%. In 2019, uh, it was 3.4%, so we're seeing higher unemployment in our community. Uh, lots of large area employers have announced layoffs. Um, local businesses are asked to operate at 25% capacity. We had our non-essential businesses closed for a period of time um, due to the state mandates. Uh, Wisconsin Food Share, the food stamp recipients in Wisconsin, have uh, increased 21% since 2019. Um, also, I know there was some talk about how private and public sectors can't necessarily be uh, compared. I did want to say the public sector, the UW system has announced mandatory furloughs across all their campuses. Um, and then the Washington County employees are taking a five-day mandatory furlough in 2020 as some budget saving measures um, that we're seeing across the private sector um, as well. So in that, I want you gentlemen to know that tonight my motion at council will be um, directly after this meeting. Um, I'm going to move that the West Bend Common Council keep the tax rate at 7.85% for the 2020 budget and cut 1% or $239,772 from the budget. This should still give our administration an additional 4% from last year or an additional $909,662 to carry out our city needs in 2021. Uh, it's imperative that our city government be all in with our residents and find a way not to raise taxes this year. A flat tax rate to last year is still amounting to that 4% increase in the levy that still outpaces the rate of inflation, uh, and it's still a more generous increase than we've seen in years previous when not in a pandemic. I believe our city can make this work. I am not trying to mandate any specific items in the budget to be cut. But I will ask one more time that we live within our means and do not pass a tax increase onto our constituents who are facing their own budget constraints this year. Um, and I do have uh, the sources that I've cited for some of those statistics if anybody is, is questioning. So thank you, gentlemen, for hearing me out.